and welcome welcome back to the roller city roller derby city track here this evening we are coming to you with team ireland versus team germany my name is mother mercy and i'm joined by my co-commentator bulldog how y'all doing <laughs> Skaters are lined up on the track. Uh, team Ireland in the white and Team Germany in the black. Number 308, Baltic Beep, is Baltic lined beep. up as Jammer against Ab Norman, number 45. There's a first whistle. Instantly, Ireland forming a four wall at the back. Ian Brennan in the, in, in the sweeper position with a Cuban whistle crisis. Mick Dastard, no, yes, Mick Dastardly. And Eli Ryra forming the wall in the back. Baltic Beep somehow finds his way through the center and gets out first for lead jammer. Looks like Michael Broido of Team Germany, number 12, going to the penalty box. But Ab Norman about four strides behind Baltic Beep. Yeah, he's not far behind at all. So Baltic Deep realizing he's not going to be able to uh, score any points. He chooses to call that one off rather than uh, let Ab Norman have a chance to score anything. So we're going to see 0-0 on the board for both teams. And at the moment, we have number 69, East Sider, Obivy Jamapanti for Germany, and 42, Lieutenant Dan Jamin for Ireland. Michael Jam Broido. will be on the way shortly. Number 12, Michael Broido of Germany, still in the penalty box. So a four on three pack advantage for Team Ireland. East Sider once again into replay of the last jam. The German jammer instantly surrounded by the Irish blockers. And there goes Lieutenant Dan escaping the pack. He gets out first this time, but the, again, the team Germany jammer, East Sider right behind him. Instant replay of the first jam, just color swap. So obviously, both teams closely matched. And for those of you uh, who joined us yesterday or didn't join us yesterday, these two teams did meet on the track. Unfortunately, we had an injury when Raven Buster, uh, who skates for Drive-By City, took a fall, ended up breaking his tib and fib. Uh, all the team want to wish him well. They think he's probably going to be watching right now, rooting Ireland on. Absolutely, our hearts are with Raven Buster. He is he was one of the top skaters with uh, Team Ireland in this commentator's opinion. Yeah. Uh, so that, that we will see how that affects Team Ireland, whether it will inspire them or whether they'll suffer as a result. But right now, we've got Electrics Avenue busting through the German lines and gets lead jammer. And instantly around the outside, all attention was on the German jammer, JC, trying to get through. And an e so an easy Grand Slam for Team Ireland. So Team Ireland putting the first points on the board there. Five points there. Looks like he may have picked up some more on his way round. So we'll get that updated shortly. Yet yeah, picked up another two. So seven points to Ireland, zero to Germany at the moment. Lining up right now uh, for Germany, Baltic 308. And for Ireland, number 45. And that would be Abnerman once again. Both so, jammers waiting on the line right now. A replay of jam number one. These two jammers faced off in the first jam. And of course, as you may recall, they, uh, Ab Norman got out second and followed uh, Baltic Beep, uh, forcing the call off from the German jammer. Baltic Beep coming back in around block lobster. But this time, Ab Norman for Ireland gets out first. He is lead jammer. Baltic Beep. Oh, just shrugs off a shoulder check from Block Lobster of Team Ireland and gets out, but he's about a half a lap behind Ab Norman. Ab Norman on the first scoring pass, runs into Skajan Smoof, and now Jam Payne comes and sandwiches him against the outside lane. Ab Norman of Team Ireland forced to call off the jam, settles for one point. Baltic beep, just coming in shy. So still no points on the board for Germany, eight for Ireland at the moment. Lining up once again for Ireland is Lieutenant Dan, and for once again for Germany, it's East Sider. And we'd like to say hello to at Heidi Bomb, who is loving the live feed. That's very nice words. I'll be honest, I like who's a friend, loves a bit harsh. We've only just met. East Sider and Lieutenant Dan, I believe this is a, is a rematch from the second jam. 
So very similar jammer rotations for both teams. Lieutenant Dam in a sea of black, the Black Sea, you might say. East Sider knocked to the infield, but his Irish opponents fall down or go out of bounds. He comes in clean. As a Cuban whistle crisis had a little bit of a, a uniform malfunction, but he's able to get it sorted out. But now East Sider on a scoring pass. Lieutenant Dam still on his initial pass. Held in there by Mahatma Bronson, number, number three, and number 96, Helgi Slider, but fights them off. Helgi Slider fell down and went into that fetal position, trying to avoid a low block, and fortunately does. That's a dangerous situation for both the skater that fell down as well as the skaters in the pack. But Lieutenant Dam calling off the jam. East Sider's not going to get around to get around into another scoring pass. Does put four on the board for Germany, the first point scored so far. Yeah, first points for Germany up there now. And just to let you know that this track is sponsored by Quad Skate Shop, Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment store. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent with excellent consultation services only a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game. Block Lobster, number B52, up to jam for Team Ireland in the white jerseys. And number 77, JC, the jammer for Germany in the black jersey. Instant contact right off the first whistle with Block Lobster and races through the pack, knocking over number 117, Justin Beep. No relation. <laughs> <laughs> JC is lead jammer. Coming around, moving in on a scoring pass. Block Lobster up front, still trying to get out of his initial pass, but run out of bounds by Skodgen, smooth of these short shorts. I do like those short shorts. <laughs> Everybody loves the shorts. <laughs> not quite as impressive as the lederhosing he wore for uh, Team Island skate out. Cutting and it low, yeah. Looks like there's a cut track call there on Germany's jammer. They're going to be making their way round to the penalty box. But so Block he, Lobster, uh, not the jammer. So this one's going to run to the end. Block Lobster now on his first scoring pass. Gets around Bruce Wheelies, number 101 for Team Germany. Completes the pass for a grand slam. Five points, Team Ireland, in this jam. JC was on a scoring pass for Team Germany, so may have scored up to five points in that pass. We'll find out in a bit. But now another grand slam for Block Lobster of Team Ireland. And it just looked like Scarge and Smooth just pretty much took out the whole of Ireland's wall from the back there, trying to hold one man back. Fair dues when there's four of you, but when it's Scarge and Smooth, maybe not the best idea. But he did pick up a back block penalty there, so he's going to make his way round to the penalty box. Coast Buster made a great effort, but ends up going to the penalty box. I think I believe that was a technical low block. And Block Lobster getting a third Grand Slam for Team Ireland. Brings their score up to 23. Germany still at four as JC returns from the penalty box, the jammer for Team Germany. He is on his first scoring pass. May have already scored some points. The time runs out in the jam as Block Lobster gets through for yet another Grand Slam. 20 points total. Uh, disappointing, I think, for Team Germany. Uh, one point scored by JC at the end of the jam. And lining up for this jam, we have Abnerman once again for Team Ireland and uh, Baltic Naughty Word for Team Germany. Uh, I won't be caught out by that, darling. But yeah, they're lining up now. This jam brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby Kid and Merch. Three on three in the pack. Ab Norman falls to his knees after some contact with a German skater. Didn't see who, but Michael Broido tried to force him back into the pack. Blocks Lobster, too agile for him. Dodges around, gets lead jammer. But now Baltic beep, getting out as well. About half a lap behind the pack once again. Ab Norman she gets to the front, but Michael Broido forces him out of bounds. Ab Norman calling off the jam. Gets only, it looks like, yes, three. It's not yep. an obscene gesture. That's three <laughs> points that the referee was signaling. And at the moment, we've got just over 20 minutes left in this jam. Ireland leading 31 to 5. Not a considerable lead. That's easily closed very quickly. And so at the moment, we have East Sider jamming for Germany, waiting on the line. And for Ireland, I believe that is... Electrics Avenue, number uh, F34R for Team Ireland. A quick move, very nimble skater around the outside. Gets lead jammer for Team Ireland. 
but number 69, East Sider for Team Germany, gets out as well. Only about a quarter lap separating the two jammers. German blockers taking a forward position in the pack. But now Electrics Avenue with a lot of speed coming around turn one, gets caught in the front by Jam Payne, number 11, forced out of bounds. He calls off the jam. It doesn't get any points for Team Ireland, but it looks like Team Germany did pick up a point. Yeah, they certainly, they picked up one there, so that's going to take them up to six, I believe. Ireland holding steady on 31 at the moment. Now, one thing, at, at the point where, uh, where Raven Buster got his, got his uh, injury, his, yeah. uh, where he broke his leg, uh, it was about 10 minutes into the bout, and Germany, or sorry, Ireland already had 62 points. So, so yeah. far, the German defense holding Ireland to half that score at the same time interval. They are again, and once again, jamming for Germany is Baltic. And Ireland's jammer getting strung up in a sea of black at the front. And big takedown there. He goes down. Looks like he's going to be recycled all the way to the back. In the meantime, Germany's blocker at the front goes past the final line of white, and he is Lee Jammer. Baltic Beep running into traffic. Four blockers from Ireland all over him. It is a power jam, so the German blockers dropping back. They're anchoring the pack in turn three. Baltic Beep trying to get around the outside, but L.I. Ryra, number 1,000 for our team, Ireland, holding steady. But, he's, but Baltic Beep able to squeeze between L.I. Ryra and Kian Brennan of Team Ireland completes the Grand Slam. So Germany certainly going to use his power jam to their advantage uh, to hike the score up a little and close that gap. Another grand slam for Team Germany. Team Maryland's jammer number 981, Cuban whistle crisis still in the penalty box. Inside line gets covered by Wallbanger and Block Lobster. Then on the outside, El Irira for Team Ireland. Baltic beep, held back, almost forced retrograde by Block Lobster, who finds a narrow inside lane. Now on point, El Irira holding him fast. Excellent defense by Team Ireland. Cuban Whistle Crisis was able to exit the pack, so Ireland will be able to field a fresh jammer. And at the moment, Ireland uh, still holding lead at 31, but Germany closing the gap to 21. So just 10 points in it at the moment. Lining up to jam for Germany, we have number four and that will be blood red kelly and once again for ireland it's number four five abnerman jams just about to get underway and they are off abnerman tries to go to the outside both jammers facing walls at the moment abnerman kind of fighting for his own blockers there but he does get out he is lead jammer at the moment germany's jammer still hung up at the back gets recycled all the way back again while abnerman's coming around for his first scoring pass Justin Beep holding back Blood Red Kelly. Blood Red, uh, that was a very narrow gap on the inside. Ab Norman thought he made it through, but he just did touch briefly out of bounds on the inside. That means it's a power jam for Team Germany. But Blood Red Kelly, number four, in the black jersey, is still on his initial pass. Looks like Lieutenant Dan, number 42, going to the penalty box. That drops Ireland down to only two blockers. And that allows Blood Red Kelly to force his way past. This will be his first scoring pass on this power jam. Justin Beep knocking him down with a shoulder check. Blood Red Kelly has to back up all the way to turn four. Comes back through. This time it's Mick Dastardly with a shoulder check. Does the same thing on the outside. And a fresh blo uh, bl block lobster coming out of the penalty box, giving Ireland three blockers now on this power kill. Blood Red Kelly leaning into Block Lobster. Justin Deep forced to, has to drop back to bridge. But Block Lobster knocking down Blood Red Kelly, forcing him to backtrack, but going to the penalty box as a consequence. And Abnerman has been released from the box, and he's making his way back onto the track. German Wall of Black waiting at the front for him. German's jammer being recycled all the way to the back. So Abnerman is through, and that was a scoring pass, so he did pick up four points for that one. 10 seconds left in this jam at the moment. 
Absolutely hats off to the Irish defense. They've had two blockers on the track. That's been Justin Peep and Mick Dastardly, number 82. It's almost single-handedly holding back Blood Red Kelly, keep it, continually forcing him out of bounds, yeah. having to recycle. So he made one scoring pass, did not complete it, but it looks like he did get all four points eventually, though. <laughs> eventually. And don't forget, uh, if you want to let us know what you're doing and if you're enjoying the coverage you've seen today, why not tweet us at hashtag MRDWC. That's not at MRDWC, which has been pointed out <laughs> to us on Twitter several times. If you recognize Sergeant Smoother, who's uh, skating with Team Germany today, you may have been watching MERDC 13. Uh, he actually played on the Expendables 2.0 at that event. So nice to see him over here again, really. <laughs> Uh, and the, team's, uh, the Team Ireland score has been adjusted to nine points for the previous jam. That was, one of those was a grand slam. So total of 40 points right now for Team Ireland, 25 for Germany, with uh, nearing the halfway point in period one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> beep, beep, uh, beep, yeah. Beep. Uh, yeah, sorry, we just had a... Uh, <laughs> One of the German skaters is visiting the paramedics in front of us right now. Um, I had a bit of a boo-boo. Uh, in a delicate yeah, area. Yeah, in a yes. deli delicate area. <laughs> that, that's what I would say, yeah. So back to the action. On track, we have number 6-9. That's for the Jammer 4 Germany lining up. That is Cider. And we also have for Electrics Avenue. Uh, as you see, they were lined up on the uh, Jammer line then. That's been brought to you by GBMs today, the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. An absolute disaster for Team Ireland, but well, that's a little bit of bad news for Team Germany too. Uh, Ireland only had two blockers on the track and Lieutenant Dam fell down in turn one, leaving only one blocker. Uh, I, didn't, I can't see who that is, but he got sent to the penalty box. So it was a wide open. However, as I said, bad news for Germany as well. Number 69, East Sider, the jammer, got sent to the box as well, right behind the Irish skater. So that means it's a power jam for Electrics Avenue, who gets forced out of bounds, has to recycle. Michael Broido doing the honors. But Team Germany working together, the three blockers recycling back to the top of turn three. Here comes Electrics Avenue trying to squeeze up the outside, but once again, that's Helgi Slider and Buttercup from Team Germany working together. Bruce Wheelie's still in there, but he is he is in the bridging position. But Electrics Avenue jukes to the inside to spin around Buttercup, number one for Team Germany, and complete the Grand Slam. Now he calls it off. Uh, just to let you know, some of the action that's been going on on the track opposite us today. Uh, the final score for Japan versus Belgium was Japan 1-3-2, Belgium 2-9-7. Uh, the game did finish early because, unfortunately, Japan by the end did not have enough skaters to carry on. But I'm sure mm. everyone wishing Japan <laughs> lots of love from what we've heard today. And that, was, and that skater that I, I could not identify earlier, that was number nine for Team Ireland. That's I play for keeps. But now we've got a two-on-two -two pack. 45 Ab Norman for Team Ireland getting through the two German blockers very quickly. But here comes East Sider, only has two, two no, now three blockers as I play for keeps returns to play. But going straight back to the penalty box on a cutting the track. Ab Norman once again on a power jam for Team Ireland, already with one grand slam in his pocket, approaching the pack against a two wall. That's a Coast Buster and Jam Payne for Team Germany, unable to even slow him down. So East Sider didn't even uh, get to put a full lap in on that before he had been sent back to the penalty box. So Ireland once again able to take advantage of a power jam situation. Germany with three skaters in the pack at the moment. But say Ireland's not making it easy, providing offense for their jammer van. Uh, now we're going to have another German skater rejoining the track. Ireland obviously looking to catch at the back. Hold that skater back there while their jammer goes up against the wall of three at the front. Jammer still trying to make his way through. Germany not making it easy. 
And he's up against, that's number 12 at the front, goes around, flips around nicely on one foot, pulls the jam, saw that the German jammer was standing in the box, decided no, we'd rather start on a power jam and try to get lead once more. Now both, eventually the, the penalty box emptied except for East Sider, so there were four on four briefly, but until number 12 for Team Germany, Michael Broido got sent to the penalty box. So now Germany down one blocker, a four on three pack advantage as Justin Beep, number 117 for Team Ireland in the white jersey, takes the track. East Sider, number 69, standing in the penalty box at the first whistle. So he'll be rejoining play shortly but right now, Justin beep, running into a three wall of Team Germany. Now, 007, Skajan Smoof dropping back to bridge. So only two blockers left. That's number one, Buttercup. Now, Buttercup all by himself, one on one with Justin Peep. But Justin Beep gets the better of him. Lead jammer goes to Team Ireland. But East Sider, number 69 for Germany. The jammer gets through the pack very quickly. But a half a lap behind Justin Peep. But Justin Beep breaks through the German defense, calls off the jam. Four points for Ireland and nothing for Team Germany. No, Justin obviously keeping an eye on the track as he came through the pack then saw that the German jammer was making his way around, decided to call it once again. So smart play from Team Ireland so far. Uh, really keeping an eye on where those other jammers are. And I would say playing majoritively cleaner at the moment. I think I've seen less white for the last few jams going to the box. But again, 74 to Ireland, 25 to Germany. Not a massive lead, not a guaranteed win as yet. And everyone's down, but everyone's back up. So that's all good. Ireland are out. Ireland do have lead jammer. And that would be... Electric Avenue, number F334R. <laughs> I think I, I just realized that spells fear in a numb alphabet. Yep. Num alphabet. Num numer alphabetics. <laughs> Alnum. I'm going to call it Alnum. But uh, F34R, that should be easier to remember now. Electrics Avenue, though, coming in on a scoring pass. Number 308, Baltic Beep, the jammer for Germany. Got breaking past Lieutenant Dam of Ireland. Completing his initial pass. Just entering the pack as Electrics Avenue escapes the clutches of Jam Payne and Hell G Slider. He's going to pick up four for Team Ireland, but Baltic beep picking up one off yeah. the back of the pack. Lining up now, we have number 45, Ab Norman, wearing the jammer panty for Ireland. And once again, for Germany, we have number 69, East Sider. Both these jammers, I would say, in a main jammer rotation today. Uh, we've seen them several times already with just under 10 minutes left to go. Jam's about to get underway. It's a full strength pack. It is five on five right now. Number 69, East Sider gets up to the front. Ireland taking a forward position with their wall. Now drops to three wall, now a two wall, now a one wall. Wall banger, the last line of defense for Ireland. Unable to hold back East Sider. He gets lead jammer. First time in a while for Team Germany. Ab Norman getting roughed up by Scott and Smoove. A big hip check drives him to the infield. He comes back in quickly, though, but instantly gets picked up by Mahatma Bronson. Jukes to the inside, gets around Coast Buster. Now, but Scott and Smoove picks him up again. And he's unable to break the back. The first time in a while as well. First time in a while that Germany has gotten lead jammer and that Ab Norman has not completed his initial pass. Two points for Team Germany. No points for Ireland at all on that jam. So we're going to see 83 to Ireland, 28 to Germany. Once again, lining up for Germany is Baltic 308. And he's going up against Justin, 117. And no, we can't say their full names. We know it's roller <laughs> derby people, but there might be children listening. Baltic beep and Justin beep, no relation. <laughs> So the jam is underway. Both jammers sort of hanging around at the back at the moment. Neither getting through. Baltic uh, taking a lead there. Got a little bit squished by the wall of white. But as I say, going into turn one, no one breaking free as yet. Wall of four at the back, wall of four at the front. Neither jammer able to break through. Both hopping around on their toe stops. No one's having any luck. But coming out of turn two, yeah, it looks like we have lead jammer for Germany. That's full tick, 308 has got lead jammer. Ireland's jammer still getting tussled around by that wall of black, not able to break through as yet. Nips through on the inside of turn three, makes his way through now. 
And at the same time, Germany's drama was had come round for a scoring pass, but wasn't able to get any. Oh no! Yeah, he was able to pick up two points. Then got recycled to the back. Saw that Ireland's drama was coming up. They decided to take those points home with him. That was two jammer meat grinders in, in going around turn one yeah. there. Both of the jammers just getting battered and beaten every single step. Somehow, Baltic 308, I like that last name better. <laughs> then beep. Yeah. It's easier to say, too. Baltic 308, somehow able to get through and once again got the point, positive point differential against Team Ireland. Now, Jam Payne, a, fur, a fresh jammer for Team Germany, stuck behind the Ireland defense. Block Lobster jamming for Team Ireland. And now uh, he is lead jammer, now on a scoring pass, runs into Mahatma Bronson, and that is Coast Buster, dodges to the inside of Coast Buster, but gets a back block. It's going to be a power jam for Germany. Lieutenant Dam, <laughs> Lieutenant Dam sending a jam pain for a spin, and he gets a technical penalty, a cutting the track that's going to release block lobster for Team Ireland. And of course, Jampain will be serving a shortened penalty, only about 10 or 15 seconds. So he will be, he will very likely be joining he's very actually soon. Back on the track already. So yep, he's already on there. And with Ireland's jammer being recycled, about halfway around the track. There's not much difference in it, but Block Lobster is out. And we are gonna have a full two-minute jam for this jam, I believe. And Jampain someone lost a piece of equipment. An easy time. Oh, yes, yeah, something has been left on the track. It's not a body part, though, so that's all right. Uh, I don't know if anyone's noticed that. It's a potential safety hazard. Normally, the referees would rush in and pull that off the track, and no one's done it yet. But, however, by the same token, the pack has not passed turn two, so they're very well away from the danger zone. Yeah. <laughs> but Jam Payne has got out of the pack, looking a little tired there. Uh, he grabbed whatever that was on the floor. It looks like it may have been the pivot cover for Germany. I believe that's right, because I can't see it on anyone's helmet at the moment. And that also explains why the referees didn't pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> it looked from here, the way it was, it looked like it was a cup, possibly a, a knee guard or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it is actually much darker in here than the feed might suggest. There's quite a lot of shadow, but... Uh, yeah, we've tended to call le turn two and three Mordor at the moment, because right. once the skaters enter, they sort of go into a land of darkness, and we have to wait for them to come out the other side. Uh, at the moment, obviously, as you can see on the live feed, the score is 87 to Ireland, 31 to Germany, with just under five minutes left. Lining up for Germany with the Jammer Pantheon is East... East Sider. East Sider. Here he got a little <laughs> knock there from uh, the Island Jammer, but the Island Jammer skated straight into Sergeant Smooth and got a little knock back. So you're, you're more of a logger person, I guess. <laughs> 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 to be honest, whatever's free. <laughs> East Sider gets lead jammer for Team Germany. This is something they need. Ireland has a healthy lead right now. Still four minutes remaining in the first half. East Sider gets into the back on a scoring pass. And only going to pick up at one point. He's got to be disappointed in that. But that's a positive differential, and that is what Germany needs right now. It is indeed. And don't forget, if you're enjoying the broadcast today and all weekend, why not drop us a few pounds or dollars or whatever your current currency is where you're staying. Use the link on the broadcast page. Uh, funds are split 50-50 be, uh, between the team's travel funds and going towards things like the live broadcast, volunteers, feeding the immense amount of staff, cost of hiring this amazing arena. So, yeah, drop us a few quid and make it count. Uh, Norman, number 45 for Team Ireland in the middle of the pack. Now races ahead, gets a hip check. He just brushes off a hip check from number one cut, Buttercup of Team Germany and gets lead jammer for Team Ireland. Number 308, Baltic 308, jamming for Team Germany, running into E-Roll Flynn, ducks to the inside, but Mick Dastardly picks him up in inverted position, can't hold him back though, Baltic 308 is free, but Ab Norman almost, almost lapping the opposing jammer, may well have, no, the referee says only four points, he did not lap the opposing jammer, but did get through the pack, called off the jam, securing that point differential, plus four Ireland. 
so at the moment lining up to jam for Ireland once again Lieutenant Dan and once again for Germany 6-9 East Sider Ireland with a full pack advantage Germany with one player in the penalty box so they've got three skaters walling up in front waiting for the jam to start which it has number one buttercup in the penalty box for team Germany four on three pack advantage for Ireland East Sider knocked to the outside, manages to stay in, slides up the outside lane, and moves up, moves to the inside. He's not Lee Jimmer, of course, because Lieutenant Dam already secured that position. Now almost to the pack quarter, a scoring pass. Dodges to the outside, gets picked up by Helgi Slider, but moves to the inside of Michael Broido, completes the pass, calls it off in time. East Sider's not going to get in there. Four points for Team Ireland. And less than two minutes remaining in the half. I have to say, so far this half, Ireland's pack seems to have been much tighter. Finding it a little bit easier to sort of getting the German walls, split them up, making holes for their jammers to take through. And the score's showing that. 95 to Ireland, 32 to Germany. Ireland very close to the triple digits mark. Germany still at 32 points. Baltic 308, dodging, juking back and forth. But Electric's Avenue was actually shielding. He was actually blocking a little bit. Now both jammers driving up the center, but Baltic 308 stumbling in turn one, running into Justin 117. And Electric's Avenue, number F34R, is the lead jammer for Team Ireland. Baltic 308 forced out of bounds for Team Germany, has to recycle, still on his initial pass as Electrics Avenue is too fast on the outside for Mahatma Bronson, number three of Germany. Five points, a grand slam for Ireland. But now Team Germany back at full strength as Buttercup rejoins the pack. Electrics Avenue, though, brushes him aside, gets up to the front. Buttercup catches up to him again in turn one, knocking him out of bounds. They both go down. Electrics Avenue calling off the jam from outside and just... He does get three more points. That's a total of eight for Team Ireland. And just seconds remaining in the first half. So Ireland actually breaking a century there, and they've gone to 103. Uh, we probably will have time for one last jam. And just to remind you that one of our sponsors today is Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates, serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. There was time for one more jam. There was a little bit over 30 seconds remaining when that last jam ended. And Germany take, gets the advantage. Number 69, East Sider is lead jammer, but Ab Norman, number 45, hot on his heels and closing the gap quickly. He may catch up to East Sider before he gets to the pack. East Sider yelling at his teammates to speed up, but Team Ireland seeing this, the disposition on the pack moves to the, moves to the forward position, and East Sider is forced to call off the jam, so a pointless jam. So, yep, we're going into halftime at 103 Ireland, 32 to Germany, and we're going to be handing over to the studio right now. Um, we'll be back with you in a, about 15 minutes. So we're back with you now on the Roller Derby City track. Uh, just getting ready for the second half of Ireland versus Germany. Uh, just under uh, two minutes to go. Quite a fairly close game so far. 103 to Ireland, 32 to Germany. A uh, bit of a lead, but not, not a lead that couldn't be changed in the next 30 minutes, really. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We've seen larger leads than this decimated very quickly. All I mean, 
as always, there's always the, the specter looming over Ireland of power jams. If they give up, if they give up too many power jams, Germany could easily cover this, and we've seen that time and time again. Uh, but right now, they are sitting comfortably in triple digits with Germany, uh, no, more than 70, 71 points behind. I'm doing some announcer math. That's always, <laughs> always some touchy business. <laughs> And that was the whistle signaling that we are going to get underway now. Lining up with the Jammer Panty for Germany, 6-9 East Sider. And I'm going to pass over to Bulldog because there's a riff in my way. Uh, Lieutenant Dan, number 42, jamming for Team Ireland. Ireland in the white jerseys, Team Germany in the black jerseys. Germany down one blocker, that's number one Buttercup sitting in the penalty box. So a four on three pack, pack advantage enjoyed by Team Ireland going into the second half. But we still have technically 30 seconds remaining before the first whistle. And just before that whistle goes, to remind you, one of our sponsors is Green Monster. Green Monster Roller Sports, all new. Go and visit them today at grnmnstr.com. All eyes on the clock countdown for the halftime. Five second signal given. And there's the first whistle. East Sider bounces off of Eddie Knievel but breaks through. But Lieutenant Dam makes very short work of the of the German defense. Gets the lead jammer very quickly, but East Sider about a quarter lap behind. Lieutenant Dam hits a three wall of German defense and slipping up the inside. East Sider hit or gets to the Irish defenders, but Lieutenant Dam calling off the jam is able to pass one of his opponents plus the ghost point of it looks like that. Sorry, uh, sorry, yep. the Irish, the Irish manager All the way was around, yeah. running up. I was, I was, I was just, I just wanted to pause before to see if there was an adjustment made. I think it looked like she thought that he got two points yep. plus a ghost point, but the score remains two points in that jam, 105 to 32 in favor of Ireland. In the meantime, Abner Mann, uh, jamming for Ireland, made his way round the apex on the inside line to pick up Lee Jammer, while Germany's Jammer still struggling to get past the wall of white at the front. In the meantime, Ireland's Jammer has come round. He's met at the back of the pack with a wall of three by Germany. The Germ German Jammer has broken through. He has completed his initial pass, but Abner Mann going round the last block of that is skate and smooth for Germany. Having a look at his bench, bench is telling him to call it. Baltic 308, not going to get into the pack in time. Something we've seen over and over again. Ab Norman has been an outstanding jammer. And uh, we did give a shout out to Raven Buster uh, of Team Ireland, who had an unfortunate accent. Got a radial fracture in his leg, broke the tibia and fibula, but his team is thinking of him and they, they wanted to make sure that he knew that so that's our job letting and him at, know at the moment uh, for the first time today jamming for Germany uh, in this game is Mahatma Bronson and jamming for Ireland is Electrics Avenue and we have a shout out to Electrics playing for Ireland from his mum Slager for Christie his stepdad sleazeball and his stepsisters, Molly and Sadie, who play with Tiger C Cardiff Tiger Cubs. Oh, all the family love. <laughs> but a no score in that jam. Jam called off by Electric Avenue. So we're going to move straight into the next jam. Just about 10 seconds left on the countdown. 30 seconds in between each jam. Lieutenant Dam, number 42, in the white jersey for Team Ireland. And against East Sider, number 69, for Team Germany. A shoulder check from Lieutenant Dam right off the first whistle. Ooh. Sends East Sider to his knees, but he recovers quickly, only to be caught by number nine, I play for keeps, driving him out of bounds. Lieutenant Dam of Team Ireland gets out of the pack, gets lead jammer. East Sider at the back of the pack going into turn two into that dark corner. Lieutenant Dan going through unopposed. I think Michael Broido, number 12 of Germany, got a shoulder check, but only a glancing blow. Lieutenant Dan easily getting through with a grand slam. Now on his second scoring pass as East Sider of Germany gets out of the pack on his initial pass. Lieutenant Dan knocks over Michael Broido and dodges around number 007, Scotch and Smooth. 
to get his second pass. Four points on that one. So nine points total for Ireland. And at the moment, lining up once again to jam for Ireland, we see Abnerman and for Germany, heavy German rotation for this one. It's 308 Baltic. Germany taking the back line at the moment with a full pack. Ireland close up in front. They also have four on the track. Jam is underway. Baltic Abnerman. 308 moves up to the front of the back and bursts through the Irish lines. Gets lead jammer. First time in a while for Germany. Ireland has gotten the bulk of the lead jammer calls, and that is critical to their lead right now. Baltic 308 on a scoring pass gets around, gets around Kean Brennan, but he does get all four points for Team Germany. Calls off a jam. No points for Ireland. A plus four differential for Germany. That's going to take Germany up to 36 now. And once again, lining up again for Germany, Mahatma Bronson, number three. And once again for Ireland, Block Lobster, lining up with the German Panty for Ireland. Both teams at full strength, five on five, an empty penalty box. Don't speak too soon. That is always worth mentioning because it happens so rarely. <laughs> today, Block. today it's very rare. Block Lobster knocked down on the outside by, I believe that's Michael Broido, although it's difficult to tell in the dark soup over there in turn two. But Mahatma Bronson of Team Germany gets a cutting the track, giving up a power jam. Block Lobster ducking around a hip check from Scotch and Smoof and jukes to the inside of Coast Buster to get lead jammer, completing his initial pass. Some jockeying for position on the inside line in turn, at the top of turn three. So that's going to be a five point pass for Block Lobster there, making his way around. German, German Blocker there uh, getting into a bit of a tussle with Cuban Whistle Crisis. In the meantime, Block Lobster making his way back around, looking for another scoring pass here. Yeah, that was Hell G. Slider giving those shoulder checks to Cuban Whistle Crisis. He was the German blocker who got knocked to the infield and was actually frozen in place briefly. So I think he might have been getting, given, getting some revenge, but now he is going to the penalty box. Number 96, Hell G. Slider of Team Germany. Block Lobster completing the pass. Calling off the jam, so it's going to be a 5-0 jam for Team Ireland. Yeah, oh, excuse me, a 10 to 0 jam. That was the second zero, scoring yeah. pass. <laughs> Hell G. Snyder picked a penalty up on turn two there, so he's now going to be sitting in the box, leaving with Germany with three on the track. And it looks like the German jammer standing in the box. Lieutenant Dan won't have long to try and uh, capitalize on this power jam at the moment, just waiting for the jam to start. So four on three pack advantage for Team Ireland. Michael Broido, Bruce Wheelies, and Jam Payne forming a three wall. Lieutenant Dam breaks up the inside lane, the inside center of the wall, gets lead jammer. But here comes Mahatma Bronson, number three for Team Germany, breaking around Kean Brennan and Eli Ryra to complete his initial pass just ahead of Lieutenant Dam, who's coming in on his first scoring pass. Calling off the jam, he gets four points for Team Ireland. Just noticed that uh, once again, the German pivot panty was on the floor at turn two. This time the German pivot noticing and picking it up quite quickly. So uh, maybe something the boys want to consider is uh, put your panties on properly, darlings. Number 96, Hell G Slider still in the penalty box. So it continues to be a four on three pack advantage. Ab Norman, number 45, trying to break through the German defense, but Coast Buster and Kowater Cup held fast. Now, oh, Michael Broyden tries to close the door with a hip check, but Ab Norman able to bust through. But East Sider of Team Germany, number 69, has secured lead jammer just a quarter lap ahead of Ab Norman. Now they move into the pack on a scoring fast. So moves up the inside, tries to get around the outside of I play for keeps of Team Ireland, but calls off the jam just in time by a fraction of a second. Ab Norman missed out on points. One point for Team Germany. Yeah, just managed to sort of get his hips around that blocker at the back and just squeezed one in there. At the moment, we're looking at Electrics Avenue once again jamming for Ireland and for Germany. That is Baltic 308 lining up with five seconds to go. 
jam is underway. Electrics Avenue and Baltic 308 making contact right off the first whistle. Now they are one on the outside, one on the inside. Baltic 308 driven to the out of bounds on the inside. Block Lobster picks him up. Looking for the outside lane now, but the three wall of, Ire of Ireland stops him in his tracks. Electrics Avenue coming around on his first scoring pass. He's already got lead jammer, gets picked up by Scodge and Smooth. Drives to the outside and <laughs> just a very mirroring the Ireland defense gets surrounded by a three wall on the outside. Scoggins move tries to block him, but Electrics Avenue escapes the three wall just as Baltic 308 does the same for Team Germany. However, Baltic 308 was on his initial pass. Electrics Avenue was on a scoring pass, so that is four points and now potentially another point as he gets past Baltic 308 and moves into a defensive <laughs> stance now. I look like some sweet nothings being whispered there uh, with Baltic and Electric. So just having a little chat. What do you fancy? Are we going out for dinner tonight? Who knows? But lining up for Ireland at the moment is Lieutenant Dan and Mahatma Brunson for Germany. Germany, four blockers on the pack. Uh, same for Ireland. Once again, we're starting with an empty box. Let's see how long uh, that lasts this time. Electrics Avenue did pick up that jammer point, so a total of five in the previous jam. As you said, five on five in the pack. Mahatma Bronson looking for the inside lane, gets shoved to the almost, yes, gets knocked to his knees by Eddie Knievel, number 8008. And then on the outside lane, Mick Dastardly doing the same. Lieutenant Dam, the Irish jammer, gets lead, gets lead status. Moves in on a scoring pass. It looks like number one, Buttercup for Team Germany going to the penalty box. And Mick Dastardly, number 82 of Team Ireland, following him in there. So three on three in the pack now. Lieutenant Dam completing another scoring, uh, his first scoring pass. Calls off the jam. Go oh, just before Mahatma Bronson able to get in. Yeah, it took him a little while to get round because he did get caught by the German blockers at the back and was recycled all the way to the back. So he decided to call it off before the German jammer could score anything. At the moment, we have Abnerman lining up for Ireland and East Sider. Looks like Ireland picking up four points on that last jam. Still three on three in the pack. East Sider squeezing up the inside, but gets caught by a shoulder from Kean Brennan, number 51 of Ireland, has to recycle. Now runs into a two wall at the back. Now a three wall. It's L.I. Ryra guarding the inside lane, number 1,000. And number nine, I play for keeps. But both jammers breaking free, but Ab Norman of Team Ireland gets lead jammer. Now moving into a defensive stance. And forces East Sider out of bounds. He has to recycle. He gets swallowed up by the pack once again. So he has to redo that first, that initial pass. Knocks, knocks down, but it is a clean hit against I play for keeps. And then another clean hit against L.I. Ryra. So East Sider breaking through the, the Irish defense to, complete, to once again get out of the pack. That was still his initial pass, though not a scoring pass. Ab Norman. Doing away with the pack, completes his pass for four, calls off the jam. Four to zero, Ireland. So pretty sure any Irish fans would agree with uh, at Ricey Photo on Twitter at the moment. Apologies if I've said that wrong. Uh, tweeting in, wow, look at Team Ireland go. A commanding lead over Team Germany. Yep. At the moment, with the score standing at 145 to Ireland and 37 to Germany, it's certainly looking that way. Team Ireland holding Germany to only five points in the second half. Baltic 308 looking for the inside lane, gets clobbered with a shoulder check from Cuban Whistle Crisis. Has to back up, but Cuban Whistle Crisis going to the penalty box. Ireland, so now Ireland down a blocker. Electrics Avenue, the jammer for Team Ireland, is lead jammer. But look at that, Ireland defense cut in half. Mick Dastardly and Cuban Whistle Crisis both sent to the penalty box, leaving only Earl Flynn and Block Lobster on the track. Baltic 308 gets in, he's looking for the jammer, the jammer ref, but the jammer ref says no points. Jam was called off in time, Ireland four, Germany zero. And at the moment, Mahatma Bronson lining up for Germany, Lieutenant Dan for Ireland, and it looks like uh, 
Both teams going towards the pivot line. The pivot line, of course, brought to you by GBMs, providers of event medical cover and ambulance transport across the UK. Mahatma Bronson sneaks up the inside lane, gets right to the inside of the Irish defense, and claims lead jammer, but Lieutenant Dam only about five or six strides behind. Mahatma Bronson disappointed, obviously, you can see on his face, but he had to call it off and prevent Ireland from scoring. Zero to zero. Yeah, stopping the bleeding there. So not much he could do. At the moment, we've got East Sider lining up again for Germany and Abnerman once again for Team Ireland. Uh, small packs from both teams. Both teams having a little bit of penalty trouble in the last couple of jams. Jam is underway though. East Sider trying to sort of fake out Abnerman there, but gets pushed to the inside. Abnerman able to sneak through on the inside, makes his way round. But Germany's blockers starting to come out of the pack, out of the box now. So their pack increasing to three, four on the pack at the moment, on the track at the moment. That is Germany at full strength. Now, as you saw at the very beginning of the jam, it was a three on two pack advantage for Germany. But Bruce Wheelie has got an unfortunate call and had to backtrack. He got a false start and that opened up a, the center lane. He opened up that hole and Ab Norman was able to get through easily through. because of that. So uh, just a tiny little mental, yep. just a tiny little positional error and he, that opened the door for Ab Norman to get through easily even though they had the pack advantage at the start. Now Electric Avenue for Team Ireland and once again 308 that is Baltic jamming for Germany. Electrics Avenue drawn all the way back to the top of turn four by Michael Broido, number 12, and lead jammer is taken by Baltic 308 of Germany. Comes around, the Irish defense spread out on the track, cannot even get in front of Baltic 308. He gets through easily, untouched, four points. Ireland getting into a lot of penalty trouble late in the game, and that opened the door for Germany to put some points on the board, some much needed points for the team in black. So I wonder if we'll see a team timeout from Ireland shortly just to sort of regroup and see what uh, what they can change. Why are they running into penalty trouble all of a sudden? But in the meantime, Justin lining up to jam for Ireland. And um, Mahatma Bronson jamming for Germany. Five seconds is called. That was a moral victory for Team Germany just to get points on the board at this point. Mahatma Bronson surrounded by all four of the Irish Irish blockers. An empty penalty box, always worth pointing out. Mahatma Bronson racing ahead, only to slam into Erol Flynn, number 75. Finds the inside lane, he'll get, but he gets picked up by Wallbanger, who gets a glancing blow with the shoulder, sends Mahatma Bronson spinning, but Mahatma, Mahatma, Bronson, Mahatma Bronson, that's a bit of a tongue twister, <laughs> <laughs> manages to stay on his skates, but followed closely by Justin 117 the Irish jammer, and calls off the jam for a disappointing 0-0 for Germany. Yeah, chances were that Justin was uh, going to come round there. <laughs> Mahatma knew that there wasn't going to be many points scored, so choosing to call it a day. And now we have East Sider lining up to jam for Germany and oh, Team Ireland having a little wiggle on the jam line. That would be Electric Avenue. Again, five on five in the pack. The pack and squeezed up against the jammer line. East Sider driving his shoulder, trying to get it through the outside of the Irish defense, picked up by Mick Dastardly, who drives him to the back of the pack. Electrics Avenue getting lead jammer, a familiar sight for the Team Ireland jammer. East Sider on the outside. Mick Dastardly drives a shoulder to the sternum and forces him out of bounds at the top of turn four. He has to recycle behind his teammates, but Electrics Avenue on a scoring pass gets clobbered by Jam Payne, number 11 of Team Germany, and drawn all the way out of turn three. Comes back and he's on a scoring pass. Number 69, East Sider of Germany gets out of the pack. That was initial, init, his initial pass. But Electrics Avenue, forced out of bounds, calls it off in time. Four points, Ireland, zero, Germany. Yeah, I think he could hear his bench coach there shouting to call it off because I don't think he could see that Eastsider was approaching to make a scoring pass there. 
so clever call off. But at the moment, we're going to see Lieutenant Darren jamming once again for Ireland and Baltic 308 for Team Germany. Now, I would like to give Team Germany credit for holding Ireland to only, a hand, only one or at most two scoring passes in almost all of these jams. In fact, I believe it's been a while since Ireland's gotten more than one scoring pass. And at the halftime, Ireland had 103 points, so they've only scored 54 points, only about half of what they scored in the first half. However, Germany has been held to only nine points, so I guess it's it all comes out in the wash. <laughs> but, uh, and Ireland coming round now, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan picking up a cut track, it seems there, and he's going to the penalty box. We haven't seen a power jam for quite a while in this half and the advantage does go to Germany. Baltic now facing three skaters on track. He's just pushing his way at the front but pushing them out of play makes his way through and I think that may have been his initial pass so no point scored as yet. Bats tight now with Buttercup trying to make a big sweep. Not quite working. Ireland able to knock the German jammer off to the outside. He gets recycled all the way to the back and I play for keeps waiting for him there. You know, that? that's a very good point thing you pointed out. Yeah. I, I hadn't even noticed, but you're absolutely right. Both teams jammers have managed to stay out of the penalty box for quite a long stretch in this second half. I think there's le there's only a handful of power jams all day Compared in the second half. Compared to the first half, half yes, considerably less. But it's not going to last for long because Lieutenant Tan is now back on the track, running straight up the inside line, completely untouched by the German skaters. He picked up five points for that pass because the German jammer was hung up with the uh, Irish blockers in the pack still. Lovely little one foot glide there, stays out of play. Jam comes to an end. So Germany able to pick up nine points, it looks like, on that pass. May have been a few more. We'll just get it updated. But Ireland definitely picked up 15, it seems. Yep, 12 points to Germany in that jam. Just to remind you as well, uh, please do check our website because timings for tomorrow have changed. Keep an eye for details. Check up on it. You're not going to miss. want to miss one minute of this tomorrow. And the Irish jammer did pick up three more points at the end of the jam, so it was a 12 to 8 jam, a plus four differential for Team Germany. Uh, Norman number 45 for Team Ireland now with the jammer cover. Looking for an opening, but it gets driven to the ground by Michael Broido, number 12. Now picked up by Michael Broido and Scodgen Smooth but fights off both of the German blockers to complete his initial pass and clinch lead jammer. Moving up the inside lane, Br Mahatma Bronson, oh, gets a back block penalty. He's gonna, we're gonna, he's gonna give up a power jam to Team Ireland. So now, so Germany just got their power jam for the second half and now Ireland getting one in time. Grand slam for Team Ireland on the first scoring pass. Here's the second. Runs into traffic. Michael Broido on the inside. Michael Broido, an outstanding blocker, I have to yep. say, for Team Germany, has really stood out He's everywhere on the track. And he, get, he gets a piece of the Irish jammer almost every single time he goes yep. through the pack. Very often knocking him down, forcing him out of bounds and the recycle. Doing a lot of the heavy lifting for Team Germany. Uh, not, not to say the other blockers are not working, <laughs> but Michael Broido has been a stand, standout performance. I just wanted to point that out. And once again, trying to hang the jammer up at the front, but Amnaman able to push through. Comes around for another five-point pass, and it looks like we're going to have two skaters returning to the track, so both teams will have full packs now. And also the German jammer making his way back onto play. He got an island, saw him coming in, made sure they were walled up ready for him at the back but he scoots through around the outside unable to pick up any points though because uh, that was an initial pass for him so we're going to see Ireland managing to pick up 19 points in that jam taking them to 184 and Germany still sitting on 53 at the moment uh, we've just just got over six minutes left 
And just to let you know, a half-time update from the quad skate shop track. At the moment, we have Netherlands on 56 and Finland leading with 131. And as you can see from the clock, the only six and a half minutes remaining in the second half. Electrics Avenue jamming for Team Ireland. East Sider number 69 jamming for Team Germany, but it's lead jammer goes to Team Ireland. But East Sider getting around E-Roll Flynn, number 75 of Team Ireland. Completing his initial pass, about a quarter lap behind Electrics Avenue, who slams into Bruce Wheelies at the back of the pack. Calls off the jam, but Team Germany's East Sider is able to slip in and get two before the jam is called. Haven't gotten a score for Team Ireland yet. I think they may he may not have scored. It may have been a two to no, zero jam for Germany. Northside like Ireland didn't pick up any points at all in that pass, and just Germany picking up two to take them up to 55. So lining up uh, familiar faces once again, Lieutenant Dan Ger jamming for Ireland and Baltic jamming for Germany. A little bit of a tussle there from the jammers, both dodging their way inside and out at the moment. But it is Lieutenant Dan of Ireland who gets Lee Jammer, came through on the outside. Baltic still hung up on the wall of white at the front while Lieutenant Dan makes his way around for his first scoring pass. Germany walled up at the back, holding strong. L.I. Ryra and Wallbanger coming in with a shoulder check, driving Baltic 308 out of bounds as Lieutenant Dam whisks by, picking up a grand slam for Ireland. Baltic 308 now stuck behind Block Lobster, the pivot for Team Ireland. But Block Lobster backed up by Ken Brennan, who doesn't, is unable to connect with a hip check. Baltic 308 gets out of his initial pass. Here comes Lieutenant Dam. He's on his second scoring pass. Runs into a four wall of Germany that holds him in place. But he calls off the jam before Baltic 308 can get in. Yeah, you could see uh, the Ireland's pack signaling to the blocker. They'd seen a the jammer coming up behind. Call it now. You're not going to score anything. Get it done before he gets here. Uh, it looks like we're going to have an official uh, a team. T I'm not sure if it's an official timeout or a captain yet. Yeah, it looks like it's an official timeout. So once we get some clarification, uh, we'll let you know hopefully what they're discussing in the middle. It looks like an official review. Both teams representatives have gone out, the captains and assistant captains, or alternates rather. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the C's and the A's are all consulting with the referees right now. What's unclear is which team has requested the official review. However, it looks like Team Ireland's jammer is doing the talking. That usually means it's, it's that that team <laughs> is the one that's doing the review. Stay quiet and let them say what they've got to say. So that's Ab Norman, number 45. He's frequently the jammer and is wearing yeah. the jammer cap, but right now he's representing as team captain. So don't forget, when, uh, while you're joining us today, that the Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in the growing of world of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. Still with an official review. Uh, it appears that it was a Team Ireland, as we said, but the, they've, but the official review has been, the complaint has been registered. The referees are now consulting in the center of the track. Right now, number three, Mahatma Bronson is lined up for Team Germany. And it looks like Ab Norman wearing the jammer cover, so he's likely to be the jammer in the next half. Right now, no one in the penalty box. However, we that may change potentially as a result of this official review. We shall see. As penalties go, uh it's been fairly clean when you consider how long these guys uh, have been here today, how many games they've already played. Obviously, they played in the knockout stages yesterday, all the games today. Uh, they've got to be exhausted by now. This is already, this is only the second day, though, of the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. 
Blues have another day of action tomorrow. And, uh, and this is actually the second to last game. There is another game that's in the first period for the, on the other track. Or possibly at halftime, actually. It looks like they're at halftime. All right, the, uh, the referees have completed their consult consultation. I don't see any change in the penalty box. And at the moment, we have Abner Man once again jamming for Team Ireland. And it looks like that's number three, Mahatma Bronson, having a little bit of trouble there. But he is up. He snuck through on the inside line. Lead jammer to Germany. But Ireland uh, chasing out the back quickly. Abner Man making his way around. But Germany approaching the pack now. Past one. Three in front. Takes a tumble. He's going to call it off. I would say that in the time it would have taken him to get back up on his skates, but Ireland's jammer would have catch up Abnerman extremely fast. And we have the we have the information about that official review. It was in fact an official review requested by Team Germany, the uh, the team in the black jerseys, and it was apparently against. Uh, they had a query uh, about Ab Norman, the jammer for Team Ireland. They believed he had committed a back block and should have been sent to the penalty box. However, the referees upon cons consultation were unable to confirm with the black uh, with the black team believed had happened, so the no call stands. And at the, mo at the moment, East Sider trying to get through for Germany, but it is Lee Jammer to Ireland. I believe that's Block Lobster who has been awarded Lee Jammer. Germany's Jammer getting knocked out to the inside, has to come all the way back to the back. Block Lobster's passed him. He's gone into the pack now, facing a wall of black at the front. No pack is called, they've let him go. That's gonna be a five, yep, five point pass for Block Lobster there with Germany just completing their initial pass. And a name I've been hoping to say all night, Zepp von Smeck. And I hope I said it right. <laughs> Zepp von Smeck sent to the penalty box, number 777 for Team Germany. You have been looking forward to that. <laughs> I have, actually. I practiced before the game started. But uh, it is going to be three points, three more points for Team Ireland, bringing them to eight points for the jam. Germany scoreless in that jam, and less than three minutes remaining in the game. So Ireland looking to break through the 200 barrier at the moment. And jamming again is Baltic 308 going up against Electrics Avenue. Electrics Avenue with a cheeky little shoulder there. He's going through the pack. He's facing the last line of defense. Yep. Lead jammer to Electrics Avenue with the German jammer facing a wall of white. Not able to get through at the moment while Electrics is coming round for his first scoring pass. Baltic 308. Oh, tries to get around Mick Dasterly, but gets forced out of bounds. Has to recycle. Electrics Avenue getting through the pack clean. Five more points. Nonchalant little hot bear from Electrics Avenue. Looking at his bench. Do I call it? Do I not? Okay, I'll carry on a <laughs> bit longer. Baltic 3-0. Oh, that was Booz oh. Wheelies with a tremendous shoulder check, knocking Electrics Avenue, tumbling to the inside, almost taking out one of the refs, it looked like, but manages to come back in. Doesn't? Oh, yeah, gets around 572 Coast Buster. And too fast for Jam Payne of Team Germany, who gets out of the pack, completes another Grand Slam for Team Ireland, and Zepp von Schmeck is out of the penalty box and rejoining the pack. That's number 777 in the black. Island Third. Skates is still holding Baltic cut there. Still on his initial pass, unable to get through. Electric Avenue picking up another five points as he comes around again. Baltic may be getting a little bit tired now. But he, yep, he does make his way through. That's his initial pass yet though, so no points as yet for him. Team Ireland was just brawling that entire jam. Uh, it was a three-on-one brawl throughout the back against the Baltic 308 of Team Germany. He was he looked very bruised and battered coming yep. out of the pack and just slowly, relatively speaking, made his way around and did not come up with any points. 18 points picked up by Team Ireland. Less than 30 seconds remaining. 
There's the first whistle for what is likely the final jam of this epic game. Germany's jammer, number three, Mahatma Bronson, knocked down, facing a three wall, but he is fighting. He, the, Germany is going to go down fighting. Oh. And there it is, a power jam. Justin, 1 1 7, going to the penalty box for Team Ireland. Mahatma Bronson gets lead jammer and is racing around the track. Sorry. Team Germany's blockers have anchored the pack going into turn three. And here comes Mahatma Bronson, slams into the three wall. Kean Brennan picks him up, but he slides around the outside. Gets a grand slam for Team Germany. It may well be the last jam, but go out fighting Germany. Why not? He's coming up against that wall of white there. Tries to take the inside line. Looks like Germany are going to try and hold one on white at the back, but they're not able to. And Mahatma Bronson coming through there, picking up another five points. Ireland's Cuban whistle crisis. Kean Brennan and Eli Ryra, the only three blockers on the track for Team Ireland. Mahatma Bronson slipping up the inside. Cuban whistle crisis stumbles. Can't make contact. Can't connect with that hip check on Br Mahatma Bronson. But now Mick Dasterly rejoining the pack, but not in time. Mahatma Bronson on his next scoring pass. Gets around Kean Brennan. Runs into the two wall. Cuban whistle crisis with a sternum check. Mahatma Bronson turned around, almost looked like he lost his orientation. But now, oh. El Ayrira, last line of defense. But Mahatma Bronson gets a cutting the track, and that ends the power jam. Justin 117 for Team Ireland on his, in, I believe, in his initial pass. I think so, and he's got 20 seconds now. Can, can he get anything on? Oh, Black trying to recycle to the back, but White were ready. Knocks them straight out on the on, on, onto the outside of the track. So Justin trying to make his way through at the moment. Five seconds left in this jam. But look at oh. the German defense. They look like they are on fire right now. Just completely inspired. Holding Justin 117. Almost motionless. A tremendous final jam for Team Germany. <laughs> Truly a victory, if, at least if only for 120 seconds. Indeed. So at the moment, the unofficial score, Team Ireland 216, Germany. I'm unable to see the scoreboard at the moment because Team Ireland uh, having a little huddle in front of it, but we'll let you know as soon as possible. Yep, looks like Ireland 216, Germany 74. Uh, well done to both teams today. I'm pretty sure absolutely exhausting, but fun to watch nevertheless. So we're just waiting for the teams at the moment. They're going to be making their way around the track. Once again, don't forget to check the website for timings for tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss a minute of it. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed the footage today, why not drop us some donations? Uh, go and visit our page and find out all the details of where to send them to. And there is that tunnel, uh, that London Bridge, or that tunnel of love out on the track for Team Germany. An inspired performance in the final jam, but now we're going to send you... We're going to send you back to the studio now. I've been Mother Mercy, and you've been... Bulldog. <laughs>